All right, hey guys, We're it's Yoanti. We're live. Uh, it's going to be part two uh, of the live sneaker chat. Uh, we are expecting uh, maybe a few more people to hop in here. Um, I forget where we left off. Cameras, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, like but yeah. Um, so we'll see what we get um, <laughs> if we can get some viewers to hop in here. Yeah. The Breezy ninety eight. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, there's Henry's email. It's uh, posted. Yeah. It's, uh... Cool. Um, All right, yeah, we got people in here. All right, let me get Henry in. Um, one sec. Shout out to Breezy for being first. You <laughs> get a prize. Hey, hit him with the claps. <laughs> there you go. That's what you get for being first. Special treatment. Oh, I see it. Man. Hey, uh, the Reezy, message me your shirt size or shoe size. Oh, damn, Nightwing's at the gym. <laughs> Favorite colorway of Jordan 13. Asked by Posca eight one four. Man, that's a good question. Flint thirteen for me, man. Yeah, I think I was gonna say the same thing. I love the Flint thirteens. I'm a well, I'm a blue's my favorite color to start, so that already gives it a head a uh, step up. But then I don't know, man. They're just so nice looking. I'm gonna have to go with the wheats. Yeah, you know, wheats are sick Ooh. too. I, love, I think that he got games are really dope. I'm really happy that they're coming back. I mean, I'm sure the quality is not. Gonna To Chinese letters. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, Hydro's here? <laughs> so we'll be right back. We're getting hacked. Uh oh. <laughs> That's always good. It's the pink foams. Put them back in the box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're back. God, that setup is crazy. Crook, 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 crazy. Oh, the, the shoe wall or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Champ one on 23. Eighty-seven. Look at that setup. Cool. Oh, Anyone uh, keep the old comments up? Maybe we had some questions there that didn't get touched. While we're silent, I'm going to give a shout out to the young YouTubers out there. Not only the guest among us, but to Airsoft Lord Kyle, Tau Tau One Four. It's always good seeing the youth taking oh, hey. that plunge and putting themselves out there. Check it out. Uh oh. Hey, but speaking hands. of Tau Tau 1-4. Huh? Look at that. Yes. I was pumped when they got this thing. Is that, wait, is that a smiley face? Oh, never mind. Where? <laughs> Where? On this, on the kick? No, on the kick. If you look at the kick on the, yeah. uh, you can kind of see a smiley face on the, uh. Um, Let me see. On the, uh, oh, where? right in here? Yeah, you can uh, see yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I want to put this thing in a frame. 
I love this. I, I'm curious what she can do with an actual like um, like an iPad, straight up electronic. That'd be cool. Stuff she can do with that. That'd yeah. be that'd be interesting. For sure. Um, she should uh, do like graphic designing, like what AK Moss does. Yeah. My Audible. That'd be cool. We yep. get, uh, we're at 41 viewers and we're climbing. Hey, hey, the Reezy. Very Every cool. Next time I go out and pick up something, I got you. What's he looking for? T-shirt, shoes. I went and grabbed some of her work. I'll, I'll add a minute and then grab you a shirt since your size is kind of, your shoe size is not easiest to get. What size is he? 13 and a half. Oh, mm -mm. oh. Damn. <laughs> I'm a 13. Dang, that's a tough size. I don't, really, I don't have anything 13 and a half. Yeah, I'm even, I'm like 12 Thir through 13. 13, 13, and... 13, 13 and a half, so. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Size. That's half size so. makes it harder. What is he looking for? But I'll, I'll have nothing. He was just the uh, first person. Who's holding up the drawings? This Nate. is me. Ta some of Tao Tao's Tau work. Uh, I was actually some, about uh... to say, uh, there's this person I follow on Instagram, Tao Tao, who's like really good at sneaker drawing. <laughs> and her stuff looks and... really similar to that. Well, yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> really... I'm telling you right now, in hand, the pictures that she posts do these no justice. I'm not really? spreading the hype on Tao Tao. Her drawings do that for her. No, her spread the hype. She deserves the hype. Yeah, spread the hype. She deserves the hype. <laughs> Look at the quality on that. I mean, she gets every it. stitch mark. Like, it's... Man. Do you see her, um... The Black History Month KDs? Yes. I watch... I follow her, man. She does She does some awesome yeah. work. Look at the pencil shading on this. Uh, I'm going to call it an infrared. It could be a varsity, but I'm going to hype it up to an infrared. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. I can do that. Yeah. And now, Don't. did you pay for them? Like, did you buy them off of her? Man, I'm telling you, I started following her, and I kept giving her good comments, and this young lady, Little Miss, sent me out five drawings, a homemade wallet made out of duct tape that was Seattle's... I had a video on it. Everyone, Whoa. please go watch it. And it's all off the string. I wasn't even expecting it. And then I had her for a secret Santa, and she hooked me up with another goodie bag. Yeah, she sent, she sent my drawing out just you know for free. She's like, hey, I do sneaker drawings... I'd like to make you one. I was like, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I have several from her. Thank you. From yeah, a 23 hey. to a LeBron. Oh, shameless plug, but um, I don't know if any of you know <laughs> Sneakbox stickers on Instagram. But, like, um, I contacted them about my giveaway, about, like, doing a little thing for it. And, like, I just told them, like, different sneakers I want. And they make, like, I think they're, I don't know, five inches each maybe of, like, legitimate in – Crisp uh, stickers, hmm. pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. I, they're actually doing a contest. Funny you mentioned this. Started today. It ends Wednesday at midnight. You submit it with hashtag. I can't remember. And they want to see. They want to see your boxes. So I hashtagged them a picture of my wall of kicks for now. Yeah. yeah, ending Wednesday. I don't know what the giveaway is, but. Yeah, but they're cool people. I contacted them. Like, uh, hey, I have like a, uh, like. Trying to, all right, let me rephrase that. I contact them and they're down and like they're very quick. Um, I'm waiting for them in the mail now, but I'm I'm excited for them. You know what I'm excited about? Nightwing's review on these guys. Yep, I watched it. Oh yeah, I what's that? Is that? Oh, is that the twenty eight? Yeah, twenty eight. Yeah. There's one, it's, it was like the, not the topography, but like that kind of blue kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those, all those I actually thought with jeans and then like zip down were pretty sweet. Yeah, I was watching his video because I, right when I saw him, I was like, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I mean, for, <laughs> for performance, I'm sure they're pretty good, but they just look hideous. But it's anyways, crazy. I watched oh, his yeah. video and like when they're like zipped down, like three quarters of the way zipped down it with jeans fine. on, they actually look pretty fresh. It's yeah. crazy, like actually seeing the review. Like it's crazy how thin the shoe is. Like underneath, yeah. once it's zipped down, it's There's honestly like just like it. it's nothing. It's it's crazy. I, I would love to see how they they play. The price the tag is the only real issue. I think. What's, what's retail? What's... I think two fifty, isn't it? Uh, uh, 
That's probably because of all the performance aspects, though. Yeah, yeah it, it comes in a big draw out box with uh, multiple things, accessories, I think. Yeah, each, each shoe comes in its own, like, dust bag and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it was like when I got my uh, my 85 ones recently. Like, I didn't have OG box. I got them in the 2012 box, like, from the last ones. It was, like, one of the slide out of, like, the many slide outs in that giant box. Um, let me go ahead and grab, uh, see, see what, what's going on for the questions. Um, someone asked what we thought, think about replicas. I think we all kind of have the same, uh, don't like them. Thought, yeah, just don't like them. Uh, uh, yeah. it, it all depends, you know, it depends. It's like if, if pe people can wear them and do whatever they want with them, I just know, you know, we love, kicks too much to, to mess with them, you know? Personally, I, I never understood the whole replica thing because if you can't, like, afford to have leisurely shoes, then you obviously you need to be spending the $50 that you spend on a replica towards something else that's more important. At least that's the way I would think about it, but... Or sneakers that actually have support for you, like the fake ones, like, they're not made to be... There's no like, craftsmanship to it. Like, break, 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 break your ankle. ankle. You know, yeah, you, like, uh, all that you should video. be buying something that like was actually made well, uh, well, as something real and like for me it just comes down to it. it comes down to a status thing. You know, I girls buy fake Louis Vuitton purses all the time because they want to look like I don't know Kim Kardashian. Yeah. So yeah. so it's it's almost kind of carried into the shoe game where you know a dude wants to rock uh, fake big bangs just cuz why why buy the real thing when he can rock the fake thing and, and no one knows you know well, a lot of people get tricked too yeah, yeah. if you buy a I, I, you know if you buy a fake shoe by accident that that's understandable yeah no it totally is well that's what's crazy is some of these fakes are getting really good i mean i know i i have a, a really decent eye where it, it for me i can tell usually just right off the bat you can just yeah, tell yeah, with by Jordans, the, I can. Yeah, we, but you can tell by the construction, just like that. Even someone's like, "It's the best fake I've ever seen." It's still, to me, an awful fake. It, you know, some of the LeBrons though, I've seen some LeBrons that are like pretty decent. You know, like I've seen really like, good, good Easy Two ones. You do. Yeah, Easy Two. Like those, those are getting good. But the Jordans, uh, they just can't. The the DB fours I got from Kicks Crew were really impressive as far as fakes. Like it, Did, yeah. like really impressive. Did See, yours not have, like, the white trim on the top? Yeah, mine didn't have the white trim going around the top. I mean, it, I sent them back and got my money back, but I had spent, what, 50, 55 for express shipping and all that to get it back Jeez. there. So that's pretty much what I ended up losing. But, I mean, it was pretty – I didn't even know about the white trim when it came to that. Yeah. Because uh, at the time, I didn't even know. Otherwise, I would But the thing is, when they put it on Kicks Crew, they, aver they put the picture of the real shoe. Like yeah, yeah, put, like, yeah, that's what gets you. Right? So that's what like kind of gets you. I was like, I recently threw Fran Alation's page on his like uh, how he's doing that whole soul talk submissions. I had a video up there on a real versus fake on the uh, Thunder Four, and I got so many like comments of people saying like, "Oh, that that's such a bad fake. You should have gotten like a better one." Meanwhile, like I I didn't go out of my way to buy a fake. Like th these were one of my friends who got duped on him. I was like, uh, I didn't make the video by like going out there and buying these fakes. I was like, you're pretty much getting what I what I have to work with. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, hate on that one. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it doesn't. I mean, to to be put out on on his channel, you know, that it's such a wide audience. It doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> you're gonna oh, get yeah. attacked. You could have done the most perfect review. Someone's gonna be like, you suck. You know, oh, so yeah, I mean, I gained like good, 50 subscribers, Sean, yeah. so like, I, I was happy with the outcome. It is what it is, yeah. Kicks Crew does sell fakes, by the way, uh, by you, Zen Zenny. Well, the thing is, though, like I asked like three friends who bought from them, and apparently the Nike products that they have, like Nike basketball is real, but Jordans, they do sell fakes. I know that for sure, obviously, from personal experience. To me, that's a turn off enough. Like if if they if they're wishy washy with their fakes or reels, I'm not even gonna put in the time to. Uh, oh, never! I'll never buy that from there again. You, no, you they're... can't be halfway legitimate. No way. Oh, all right, I'm back. Let's see. 
Henry, Dude, they weren't it, they weren't early releases, man. Because you know why? Because I I took them with the invoice from Kicks Crew, and I went to Flight Club LA. There <laughs> you go, Auntie. And, and then I took them I to uh, Riff, and they also told me they were fake. <laughs> I think they're still on finish line, you know, Annie. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they. I actually ordered a second pair because I got them for like seventy-five bucks. They're in my um. I, I can't tell with my computer. Are those the 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 oh, yeah the, the T Mac ones, but they you know got the LeBron. Uh, yeah, the, the player exclusive. Yeah, Ninja Strikes. The Ninja, Ninja Strikes. Ninja Strikes. Ninja Strikes. Ninja Strikes. All right, guys. Yeah. I got a special message. Special message. Oh, Yo. On the way. He's coming in? Yo! He's on the way. Give me his uh, email so I can invite him in. I don't know it, sir. I'll give you his number. Even better. How about that? He's on Haytel. Sounds good. I'll hit him up. You know what I just realized that I didn't put in my pickup video? <laughs> I was just looking over at my uh, shoe wall <laughs> and I just saw these and I was like, I was like, damn it. I forgot that I picked these up this week and didn't put them in my video. I've missed hitting the bread 13s for like two weeks now. No way. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. They, they've been out there. Yeah, I was. I was. It's a shame that like none of you guys were my size twelve because I have three pairs of bread thirteens. Yeah, I'm, I'm a twelve and a thirteen. Eleven and a half here for. Oh, wait, do you need, hey, you need twelve. You need bread thirteens. Uh, I actually have an O four pair, so oh, I'm all yeah, set. Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I pretty much just got. I wanted two pairs because I don't have the the O four pair, but I got the other pair to just trade. Yeah, but um, or if somebody just needs a size twelve, I mean. You know. Move. Yeah. So people, oh, so, people look out for me, so I look out for other people when I can. Funny, like quality, not even quality, but craftsmanship. So I walked in to get the those ones, and like the perforations that go like straight ahead on the toe, completely yeah. sideways, like completely <laughs> diagonal across the shoe. Like it, I I went in, I I just had to leave. Like yeah, my uh my pair in terms of craftsmanship is is on point. It's just the, the materials are are shit, but you know. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? The craftsmanship on that one, like the the <laughs> toolbox wasn't even going in the right direction. I was like, come on, like I would have been so pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did. I didn't buy them. Yeah. You see that in the uh, side chat? Oh, there uh, you are. One sec, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, any questions out there, Nate? I'm looking. Sorry, man. I was right. doing numbers. Oh, that's cool. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is Fomer out of Tampa? He's in the area around there. Yeah. Um, did we answer twenty Biatch's question? Do we? <laughs> you think people would start collecting? <laughs> Oh, no. He's got the best username. You think you think people would start collecting Lenings if if LeBron signed with them, or let's say any major athlete like a like a Wade or a Russell Westbrook? Think if the shoe looks nice. Personally, what do you guys think of the Wades? I, I'll be honest. I I think they're kind of cheesy. No, with them no big go for me. Yeah, like a generic. Yeah, a big W that it makes with the laces. Ah, oh, that's a joke. And I'm I'm telling you, on Christmas Day, I thought Wade was wearing some bread 11s. I had to do a double take, man. It's like Lening straight went bread 11 on the way of Wade. I don't know. Yeah, they look a little cheap. I mean, not something that I would buy. But I mean, I wouldn't have anything against anybody who likes them. But you know, just not my style. What, what's your What's your take, J Star? I would love to hear your view on this. What do you think of the the Wades? The the Wade? I actually have them in my hand Monday to see really what they look like, but I don't believe I'll be able to take pictures. Mm. Um, so what do you think of pictures you've seen? Well, see, I, I like, how many of you guys actually have a pair of Lenin? I don't. I don't not nope. me. All right, I'll tell you this. You go buy a pair of Turning Point Lenin's, you'll be soup. You'll be even more upset with the quality Jordan gives you guys. Uh oh, so from from when I think of their brand, I really think they really do put quality into their kit. But design, 
you know, like I like the bottom, I like the midsole. I'm not the biggest fan of the W, although the black and gold one I thought was it was all right. Um, but when I think of that shoe, I play basketball, so you know, I think I'm putting it on and going to hoop. I'm not, you know, doing sneaker reviews and oh, let's cherish this thing and put it up on the court. <laughs> Um, but I'm telling you, if you guys, if, if you've never had a pair of Lenin's and you do play ball or anything like that, they got a good quality kick, man. Doesn't Jordan brand have the worst quality out of like all the major brands now? Oh, I'm sure any. Pretty much. Well, Jordan Except brand does great with their new. The new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like the That's 2012s. Those 2012s are super good. nice. Yeah. 2012s were great. 2011s. This doesn't make any sense to me. I guess they've just completely gone performance. Like they don't care about the the lifestyle, the their quality of like their lifestyle and retros well, and stuff. Well, the lifestyle goes yeah. on the retros. The thing yeah. is, back in the day, when when a new Jordan would release, everyone hyper criticized them as being the over high. And that's what it is with these. Like, you start that looking around. Yeah, you start looking around. Dudes start looking for the Jordan 20s now. People are looking, oh, when are they going to retro the 19s and the 18s and 20s? 23s. And the 23, you see what I mean? Like, people, that's how, that's how it is with Jordans. They know that you ain't going to like it when it first drops from a style standpoint. But in about four or five years, people will be like, yo, remember those Jordans when you could zip it down and flip it and pop up? Yo, yeah, 28s. Yo, I got to find them. It's going to happen. That's how it was back then. Like, when the 9s came out, people were like, what the heck? When the, when the 11s. Dude, the 11s, dude. The 11s started the 11s. some stuff. Here in Indy, the 11s started stuff. The 9s, everyone slept. But no, these uh, the twenty eights they'll 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 eventually sell out. It's like a new car, a new model. Of Don't like it at first because it's totally different, but eventually it, it'll build into it. Nick uh, Formicella asks, "What's the most important feature in a shoe?" Comfort. Comfort for me. You guys should know. <laughs> Maybe he wants more specific comfort. Like Where is it the air unit? Is it day. zoom? Is Good it uh, is it material? Like nothing even compares to the Reebok. Question insoles, man. They're crazy soft. It's the same as the uh, Reebok pump insoles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're probably just the same thing. They're so nice. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, performance is a huge thing if you're going to play basketball on them, but comfort yeah. definitely has to. I think performance and comfort probably top two. And which which shoes? The Jordan Eleven. The new ones? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even get the breads, but um, I cool grades and concords. Where are you having the paint? Just on the side or the pinky toe? Or? Uh, I'd say pinky toe and front of like my mid forefoot. Hmm. I, I have pretty wide feet. Because I know pinky toe is big. Does well. anybody want to ask the question that that kid keeps spamming to us? <laughs> what is it? Which one? I How many it. pairs of shoes do we have in our collection? Not enough. 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 Not that's hey, that's a good answer. I'd go with not enough too. Or or just say there's enough shoes in your closet to buy a car. <laughs> yeah, I got too many. <laughs> all kinds of sneakers. All kinds of busting all kinds of nuts. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
No, I keep did not go uh, after the kamikazes. It's a very hot shoe. Uh, I'm waiting for the uh, black and reds. It was a hot shoe, Those I agree. Those sick. But I wasn't into it when I was younger. Like, I would rather have the Aero Jam Grandma Ma's. <laughs> oh, the fuck is that? So that's why I said no. <laughs> I mean, that... That's when it goes back. Rewind, rewind time about Nobody four hours. Nobody knows Larry Johnson. Like rewind the clock four hours ago, okay? And we had that talk. Like, what shoes do you wish would come back? Like, I wouldn't look at Kemp's like that. I wouldn't even look at. I'm gonna say it. The Shaktosis like that. Ooh, I have my favorites. Uh -oh. I got the glove. I got the pennies. Shots fired. And and the grandma Moss. I joked about it with J Star. J Star was talking about shout out to uh, his little guy dude who hooping it up, Larry Legend style. And I said, "What number did he wear?" Number two. I was like, "Dang, he needs to hoop in those Arrow Jams. Got that React juice in him, because that's Grandma Moss number." The Hornets to me growing address. up. I was I was a major Pacer and Bulls fan growing up, but I, the Hornets, dude, they had passion, man. They had a stacked team. They had Zoe. They had Larry Johnson. They had Muggsy Bodes. Shout yep. out to the Midgets. Gotta respect. <laughs> Speaking of grandma, well, let me see. Let me see. I'm sorry. Sometimes I go off on a tangent. You guys got to stop me next time. <laughs> no, nah, but you know, you're just speaking. you speaking your mind. All right, all right. I get passionate. <laughs> Toe killer. But how many sneakers do you get per week? Joseph Leon said. Oh like, man. Too many again. <laughs> Not enough again. Not enough. Too many. Yeah. Less than one. <laughs> Well, I just went a month without buying a shoe, and it felt really weird. People at my work <laughs> I thought can't I was slinging drugs. I would get packages almost every friggin' week, like multiple packages at my work, because I, I don't dare to send them at home because people might snag them up, but they all read on my work. If any packages come through that door, they know it's going to my desk. <laughs> if I don't get like a pair of shoes in the mail in a week, it's weird. I usually end up getting like one or two a month, and then certain months I go off and have like four to six, but like I, I just don't have the, the means to get like multiple pairs a week. This dude's which, which I'm fine is broken. Can I, can I ask you guys a question? Did any of you guys hook up your USPS or UPS FedEx delivery guys this holiday season? Yes. You really no. got to, man. You really need to. I'm just putting yeah. it out there. Yeah, well, I do like my mailman. Um, you you got to look at the work they put in, man, and like half the time they can just well, load stuff. Or, or, hear me out, or you can set up something <laughs> nice on your porch, give them a little dap on the sides, even if it's cookies, man. It doesn't have to be money. It can be something personal. Next thing you know, they're using the hiding spots. Like, hey, under my bench, put it behind this bush. Like, It's kind of scary, dude. You think of some of these shoes you're getting in sitting on your porch. Oh, exactly. People are crazy this in this world. Unless you live in a private drive and you got no worries, dude. Half my neighborhood jogs. All, every one of those work. joggers, just looking. So this guy said, just putting would that guys, out there. Would you guys ever buy a pair of shoes from Flight Club, even though they are overpriced? Some shoes actually pop up on Flight Club for really cheap. Yeah, I've bought, like, bought a before. couple of pairs from Flight Club, but they weren't like rate price. They had like, uh, they had Miami Night Eights for seven hundred a couple months ago. Or where is it? The ceramic colored of the thirteen lows um, for like one forty-five, maybe a year ago. That I almost pulled the trigger on. But that was a good price. I got one of my pairs of black cement threes for like I think two ten off of Flight Club, which isn't bad at all considering what they're going yeah. for now. I got my Levi ones from them. Yeah, let's see. Another question. So did that question get put there like six times? <laughs> I don't get that. Man, the man needs to calm down. For now on, we just need to. For now on, we ignore anyone that floods the chat with questions. Hey, did, did we ever answer? Let's all agree on this. Did we yeah. ever answer the question about um, 
There's no need for that. What, what the most important feature of the shoe is? Cushion would be the best feature, and let's go on to the next thing. Like, what else? Maybe, maybe a feature as far as material, or do you like a shoe with a booty feature? I do. Yeah, although I don't discriminate. Like, gotta, gotta love the booties. Do you, do you like a feature with a strap? Do you like that as a feature? <laughs> on? Come on. I, I, you know what I mean? Funny, man. Like straps, for instance. A mid top, high top, low top. For me, style style will draw me to a shoe. If it's not comfortable, if I can't put it on and feel the actual comfort. It's out the door, right? And then it's out the door. Like I've yep. I've literally turned down some shoes that most people would flip out like, well, why would you turn that down? Because that mug is not comfortable, I'm sorry. And then um uh, Why has the Yeezy gone up in price on Flight Club since they released? It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who's, who's buying them. A bunch of clowns over there, dude. They're going to do whatever they want. They're What's good, good, Ross? He might be muted. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's in there twice. He might be having connection problems. Like uh, Yoani. Yeah, I've been having some connection as well. Yeah, it keeps coming up like on the screen that we'll be right back, with, like the Chinese writing or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've kicked like three or four times. I mean, it joins Dude. me right back, but wow, weatherman's are 1200, man. Fuck this place. Jesus, 12. Weatherman, you can probably just set them to mache. I thought they were like. <laughs> oh god, just anal rape. Uh, sorry, guys. I w was my uh, face ever leaving the screen, or yeah, yeah it kept it frozen down a little sometimes. Bit. Okay, okay, I'm good now. Did I lace swap the elites in the top right corner? Yes, I did actually. Let's talk <laughs> lace swaps. Why not? <laughs> man? I'm just gonna leave right? the cam. I'm gonna leave the camera on Nate for a minute here. Is this bad? No, should I not? not no, go should for I it. Not? Do it. Look at that Some wall. Show us. That wall. <laughs> Some of this stuff's just jokes. Show us so, the good. So don't boo me. Like, okay, you take the LeBron Low Entourage, right? Okay, the Lo the the London style. You take the blue laces out. You're a Pacer fan. You throw them joints in the taxis. Bam. Hey, that looks pretty tips. good, though. That looks pretty good, though. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an infomercial, man. Seriously. <laughs> Bam! Bam! Look at this! Mm. It's a slap chop. <laughs> All right. Then, then you hit him with this. I got to get this out of the way before, Ooh, the before, uh, before uh, Fomer Simpson gets up in here. So, bam. <laughs> John Starks, Bam Bam Bigelow. Patrick Ewing missing finger rolls. Love it. I'm going to hang this right here. I think that's probably here. the best uh, ESPN 30 for 30. Yeah, that was pretty yes, good. Yes, by far. Miller killed it. I'm going to put that right there. Nate, uh, Fomer said he's not going to be able to make it in. He's with his uh, his chick, so. Aw, I'm sorry, Fomer. It's all right. All right. We'll get, I, we got, we'll get him in next week. I hit it with the 3M um, Taxi Elite Laces and the Stealth Foams. Um, yeah. Imagine this lit up. Uh, I'll try it real quick. Why not? <laughs> Imagine this lit up. I don't know if this Ooh. is going to work. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like some, something was taken off. Yeah, yeah it sounds like Iron Man. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. What is that right there in the foams? You see the 3M lace in the taxi? Oh, what it's a taxi 3M. Yeah. What have I done? Oh, those are LeBron laces? Yeah, the 3M taxi laces <laughs> in the... In the see what I mean? The three M hit come, it bang bang. Yeah, I I like the it. red tips. Why not? It's a nice touch. We showed this. We showed this last week. What am I doing? Get original. We did this last week. We already did this. <laughs> no, no, we didn't see all all this stuff here. Oh. Looks like you rearranged some things. No, not really, dude. I think we did this. How about Agassi joints with the black, the tech challenge. I like the oh, black. Yeah, Instead of the white? Yeah, I like Why the not? black. Why not? And what else did I do? The galaxy and the pink foam? 
Oh, Henry, come on. <laughs> Is that from the, oh, uh, the reruns? Holy shit, you still have it like that. Well, I, I got to relace like 20 shoes here. I did, you notice the Concords with the black laces are gone now. I had to get rid of that. Um, that's it, man. I already showed all this stuff. Yeah, I already Let's showed go all to his this. Instagram. What do you got? Yeah, Let's go to my Instagram. This doesn't white... feel. This doesn't feel uh, fresh. No, but I'll let's... take requests. How about let's, that? Let's if you guys request it. a lace swap, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, what about the gem green foams? Anything special from there? Anything special with the gym greens? And any any la different type of laces you could throw on there? I don't know. Let's go to my lace box. Because there is a green. <laughs> there is a green. What? There's a green swoosh on there. It's black, I think. All on the bottom. Oh, while well, Nate looks for that, um, J-Star, you got a question. What is your favorite Adidas Rose model to date? My favorite would probably be... It might be on the way here, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, that I have, I would say the L. Uh, let me let me grab it real quick. I'll just make it easy. Let me grab it. No, uh, the Jim Greens. It would need a custom lace. There's there's no doing anything with that shoe. Yeah, nothing. Send your lace to Moshe. Nothing. <laughs> Personally, not a huge uh, Jim Green foam fan. Ooh, I, think it I looks like good those. in sunlight. I, to me, I'm colorblind. Those Personally, so like the colors are really. Yeah, good. those are Adidas right there. That this looks one. sexy. Wait, oh, I, laces, right? I don't know about you guys, but I think the blue laces look ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, you probably can't so see in there, but it's got the L train map on the inside. Uh, that's All a right. second soul. You want red with blue? Bam, son. How about a red and blue SB? They run a little narrow, right? Yeah, that SB can't see these L's right here. Put them no, away. They can't. They can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, all right, how about this? this? Um, Nothing can top this. This is hype I incarnate. Think, think, yeah, the <laughs> the 3.5 year of the snake will probably end up being one of my favorites as well. Yeah, I can't wait for those to come in, dude. I think those the nightmare ones look pretty sick. Hmm. I haven't worn these in a forever, though. These cre I wore these like twice, and the toe box is so creased up. It's not even, it's not even funny how creased up they are. <laughs> I think it's a sick looking shoe though. Really sick looking shoe. What do you guys prefer on the uh the Dornbecker free runs? The orange or the galaxy? I personally think the orange looks better. The orange, the regular. I don't, I don't think I've seen it with both. I think I've only seen, I've it, seen with it with the orange. Uh, I'll go yeah, show. Yeah, the orange. We'll go with the orange. I like that. I think that looks pretty sick. I think either laces would look pretty cool. You know what the funny thing about these are is that I like I walked in because I won the RSVP and um I need like a pair of like trainers. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get the Dornbeckers. They look pretty cool. I'll like support it. I I get home and like they're I I that was like the first pretty time cool I'd seen the them. Dark. Like the hype was unreal. I was like, what what just happened there? It was it was it was weird because I completely went in without like knowing really what they were. All right, fellas. I'm about to roll out. Later. All right, man. Hey, thanks I'm, for uh, coming I to join us. I a lot of fun. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me, man. I really do. Um, 
Next week I should be I should have more time if you want to connect or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna do it again. So uh we'll we'll hit you up um sometime next week for sure. Yo, thanks everybody for watching. All you guys out there. The sneakers stop. No, I did not get the Chicago Bears three. All right, man. God bless. I'll pray right. for you guys tomorrow at church. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> we can use it. See you later, dude. <laughs> Good night, good night. Pray for the Lakers. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. Um, I was trying to get uh, Amzel in here, but... Oh, are any of you guys a uh, size 11? Nah. Right here. Do you like SBs? 11 and a half. Uh... <laughs> here, I'll, I'll show you what I... Uh oh, pink box. Dun, dun, dun. No, I never liked those. Really? Yeah. What are those? I mean, Reese Forbes? No. Yeah, Reese Forbes blows. Yeah. They just like completely don't fit. Now, I've heard mixed things about them. I've heard people say that they're like way too flimsy and they rip too easily, and then I've heard people say they're like crazy dope and. Mm. I mean, I think they're. Cra I think the quilted insole is crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. But they do have a tendency to slightly rip. Question, question. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yo, Annie, I think it's Bayouzine. What size do you prefer on John ones? They, I don't know. They, who did they ask? What size do you prefer on Jordan ones? True. Um, yeah, I go true to size. I go twelve. True on my ones. I like I, I like small. I like my kicks to fit like really tight. I, that's just me, but I like it. I I just feels better for me. I I, I get like a headache when I walk around in a loose shoe. I don't know why. I I just it just feels better for me. So I I always like to go like I'm a size nine, um, but Jordans at eight and a half works good for me. Lebron's. LeBron's are like crazy tight. I, I I go nine and a half in LeBron's, but um, like I I tried on like I'm a nine. I tried on like a ten and a half in the LeBron <laughs> once, and it fit like pretty good. So <laughs> though, yeah, the LeBrons are like crazy. Um, but Jordans, I don't know. They run big for me. So I always try to go half size down. Half size for me. I I can't do a straight true size on them because of the, the wider feet. Yeah, that's my problem. Like, I if I could, I would take like a thirteen and a half, but I just don't really see that, so I just settle for thirteen. I don't. Do they even? Uh, do they make thirteen and a half? I never see. I, I never don't see think so. it. I mean, it's, like, it's only like a custom size, I think. Like, yeah, yeah like I was fourteen say. is too big, and they just look Dang. too big. And then thirteen is like a little bit too small, but mm -hmm. manageable. Oh, uh, someone asked uh, the inspiration behind my name, Yo Anti. It's just a, um, I it somehow it, it it I think it was no you know what it was I think it was my original AOL screen name back in in fifth grade. <laughs> if anybody uh, remembers it, AOL. Fifth, yeah, exactly. <laughs> fifth grade was my first ever AIM name, and um, somehow like. You know, I, I use it as my email address. You know how some people still have the AOL email address. It yeah. kind of carried on. Some of my friends would be like, "Call me Yo Auntie." You know, my it's kind of like a mixture because my name's Anthony. So sometimes I go by Tony, Auntie. So it's just like a combination of of. That's why I thought it was like Yo name. Auntie. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Yo yeah. Auntie. You know, yeah. there are people who call me Auntie. auntie. Yeah, no, it's it, that's that's kind of how it happened. People call me Auntie, and so I'm literally like, "Oh, Yo Auntie." So that's how the name came. So. And and I created my YouTube account in 2006, just based on um, I was just like I gotta create. I'll just use Yo Auntie, whatever, because I wasn't expecting to upload videos. And then when I started making like videos, I was like, eh, I don't want to like change my name, or you know. So I was I just went with it. So oh that's, that's god, the inspiration. If anyone is a size 12, dude, jump on this right now. Put it what is it? Ooh. What? Oh my god! Well, let me put the link. Just tell us. <laughs> it's a SVSM LeBron 7 away. I've been looking for that for so long. But it's Where? 
Uh, I put it in the the side chat. It's uh the heat check. It's really good price too. Oh, mm -hmm. so I just purchased really from I just I purchased a, uh, from the heat check, and wow. I will let you guys yeah, know the results. Actually, that's not. It's I'm just gonna give a quick bad. shout out to uh, one TMC II. He's uh, he's been trying to look out uh, for a pair of Kobe's for me. The Black History months. <laughs> he's searching high and low, but the new ones coming up short. Yeah. What size? Uh, oh yeah, size nine, huh? Yeah, nine, nine and a half, eight and a half, but. Um, Did you try uh, Nike.com this morning? It's so the craziest thing happened. So I actually was on my phone. I I was on my phone because first I forget why I was on the computer. I had the computer and my phone up, um, and they started releasing all the links because there was like a million today. And for some reason, all of, all of the links released on my phone, except the Kobe, but it released on the computer. So. Uh, I missed. I I got the KDs in my cart, checked out, and then realized I didn't hit submit. So I I would have had I would have the KDs, but I missed out on them. But oh, we I've heard live. that there's a pretty serious lag from when Nike tweets and then when you get it on your phone. I'm not yeah. sure the legitimacy of the. The best way yeah. to do it is to to use a Mac and or at least the, from what I've experienced. I have a Mac and I use the, I download the Twitter app from the app store. Oh, you, you busted out the way. secret. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I guess, but I mean, it's, no, but that's, the, it's a, that's the best way to do it, man. I've gotten every single release since I've done that. That that is the trick to it. It's Henry, the trick, man. Can you can you repeat that? Uh, you broke up. <laughs> so it's it's oh, got no. a Mac. If you have a Mac, okay, but the, I don't know. It depends on your computer. I just bought a really, really. I just bought a three thousand dollar laptop. And so you gotta spend three thousand dollars to also. <laughs> but pretty much, I think the best way to do it is just download the the Twitter app for uh, from the App Store and put it on your Mac. Ah. And then when you know when you click the link when they tweet it, it it just depends on the application you're using and how fast it, it loads it. Yeah. Like also, if you use Twitter in a browser, it's much slower. That's what I had been doing before, and it's too slow. But like when you use the the uh, app from the Mac Store, it's very fast. And every time I press Add to Cart, like I got the the DB nines. I got pretty much everything I tried for since uh, someone told me about it. If you um if you know the product code, just keep doing the search thing. That that kind of works too. Yeah. Sometimes they change it up though, and they don't let you do that. Cause I've been, I always tweet and ask them for the product code, and I tried that for the rookies, but they didn't do it for the rookies. Yeah, I just looked through it from the uh, sneaker blogs. It's probably the easiest way for me to find them. Nate's doing a live uh, lace hunt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got the uh, cow fours. <laughs> Oh, I, I have um, blue laces in my calves. No, orange in my calves. I think it looks really good. I also do that thing on Nike Store where you add like I you add, I'll add like a just a shoe, and then I'll I'll go to place order, to where you just press place order and I'll delete it from my cart in another window. You do that too, Optimus? Yep. Yeah. That's oh, what I've I mean. I've heard one. Uh, Just um, if you guys haven't seen, just ID so collector, he has a video on the whole process. Yeah, he makes videos on that type of stuff. You can also get Tweetbot too. Do you use Tweetbot, Optimus? Or uh, ID so creator? No, I don't. Uh, What's that? It's like um, I don't know, man. Tw t the the Twitter app for Mac. If you're RSVPing and you type in the first letter of the hashtag. 
it automatically fills it in. I don't know if you guys have noticed that if you if you use. Oh yeah, the, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So I mean, it makes it easier for that too because I notice it every time. So if I RSVP, as I long as you don't have a nine nine to five job, you're you're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Luckily for me, I did not fall in that category. I have a job, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I have to have a job, otherwise I wouldn't be able to support my uh, buying habits. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I'd be in super debt. Well, you know, having, having your own business is always better than having a job, but you got to find the right business to have. That's true. Hate sucking up to bosses. <laughs> yeah. And then they suck up to their boss, and it's just a bunch of BS. Okay, back to topic. Okay, what, what, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we haven't talked about sneakers in like 45 minutes. <laughs> What do you guys think about the Penny Five? I don't Two they're really comfortable too. They don't look as comfortable as they actually are. They're really, really comfortable. They're, they're comfortable but narrow. Yeah, so they are a little narrow. Although for me, I can go true to size and they fit. That's what he said. If he if they carry him, he's gonna he's gonna get the link. We need to I, told, I, I told him I'll pay him I'll pay him for RSVP because he usually does all my RSVPs for free. Because I I know who does that? The guy the guy I know locally that has a bot. That's why I was asking Damn. you guys about a bot because I was gonna pay him to write it on my laptop. But I was gonna I told him I was like I'll pay you for the quirks because I know you're not gonna do that for free. And he said he doesn't think that they're gonna hit a lot of Nike towns. So. Damn, no, that sounds pretty it. limited. He's gonna he was gonna try and get the Nike store link. That'd be dope. I hope they just make a shitload, dude. I really do. I'm. I remember seeing like leaked pic, not leaked, but like first pictures a while ago, and that was. I said. I remember. I was um. I was in a doctor's office with my mom, and I was like, "That is the one LeBron ten that I want out of all colorways." Ooh. And that just so happens that this is like the most. I think I don't think it's gonna be, as, it won't be as limited as the uh, MVP pack. No, no, it can't be. Those that was only like sixty pairs. That's or what I'm saying. Like <laughs> I, I don't think I think it's gonna be limited, but I don't think it's gonna be like. At, you see, as it's an interesting limited. situation because there was a hard release date from Nike three months before, and usually well, shoes I mean, that it, have hard re hard release dates three months before the shoe isn't that limited, like. Really right, and they, and they like tweeted. They tweeted like a whole description about it. They yeah, didn't exactly. Give any release information, but the fact that they're yeah. like they were kind of promoting it in a way, you know. And yeah, well, there was somebody who said that there's only going to be it's going to be a limited run of the corks in that special box, but then they're right. actually going to release a bunch of pairs in like a regular LeBron ten box that would be kind of like similar to like the Christmas shoes or like a GR, but there's not like a gazillion pairs. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. The way Which would be it, awesome. I don't care about the box. As cool as the, the box is, as long as I get the shoe. Yeah, exactly, yeah. dude. I'm not I wearing really the, the box. Be like that, but you never know. The the Nike else, changes their mind every ten minutes, so. Yeah, if if they do it like a when pigs fly type of thing, like um. Yeah, that right. would be awesome. I don't care. I just, I just want the shoes. <laughs> yeah. The people who are saying that it's going to be really limited were the people who have the sample sample size runs, and the, I I don't know. Like to get if I personally. Right now. Personally, if I had promo samples and I was selling them early, obviously I'm gonna say it's limited because you want to hype it up more and want yeah. people to pay more. So it's like, 
I don't know. I w- that's why I passed on him for eight hundred because I was like, I'm I'm not gonna believe that shit. I mean, yeah. obviously, also, obviously, the seller is gonna say that to me. He's gonna say that to me because he wants me to buy it and to get paranoid. Also, what's but, retail three, three over three, 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 oh, five, three oh five? So it it'd be smart of Nike to to hype it. So we will spend that three oh five. You know, yeah. there. Yeah, because with tax, I mean, it's gonna be what like tax thirty. Yeah, if it was ridiculous. really, really yeah, limited, no they wouldn't need about. to. They wouldn't need to hype it or promote it. If it was that limited, they'd just sell out because it's so limited. But because they only have like twenty pairs, yeah, and there's a thousand exactly. people lined if, up. If there's a lot, they're gonna have to do their work and make sure that, that people do buy them. Even if know? they, yeah. even if they make a lot, people will still buy them. You know they will. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of well, course. even the non LeBron is, fans are yeah. like saying it's everyone's the one, one shoe that they that. want. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't even really wear LeBrons or really Nike basketball at all. Um, I'm really Reebok and Jordan, but like I really want those cores. You gotta say too, th- that is a cool concept, you know. Yeah, I think They're it is. It's different. I like, like it. Like, like you got to, you got to be thinking right now. Jordan, even himself, would be like, "Damn, I should," you know, that would have been dope. Yeah, if I want a pair. A cork Jordan, you know, <laughs> the the king of popping the champagne. You know, he did it more than anyone. Cork I Jordan bet, Five. That's what I'm saying. I bet he's like, "Damn, I wish I thought of that." You know, but uh, wish- that. I think if um, I don't know because I was talking to the same guy about the corks and he th- he's he has been telling me the whole time it's going to be the same way as the rookies it's going to be like Mercer okay. yeah I could see and that then Nike store yeah. before a Nike sports release and like maybe yeah. Nike uh, Montalban too I yeah. don't know but either way there's going to be so many people thirsting for that shoe it's going to be difficult yeah yep. yeah regardless we'll of how limited it is. We'll, we'll see soon. Yeah. What is the release date? End of February? Uh, the 23rd. Yeah. The thing, the thing I'm worried about is I'm going out of town the 28th for like five days, so if they push it back a week, I'm completely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could see you getting it, Henry. I really could. You're good at that stuff. I'm still, I'm still mad. I slept on the. I could have got like three pairs of the crown jewels and traded for a bunch oh, of. Stuff. I know, oh, man. Because at, at my Nike town, I got my first pair, and I was like, "Damn, these are fresh." When I got them home, and then I saw the tweet from Nike LA, RSVP again. I was, I was sitting right there. I could have got another one, but I was like, wow. "Damn, should I really go?" But you know, six hundred deep when no one's even buying these, like, right? Because I, I wanted to just trade it, and then, uh, and then. The second round of pickup, there were still more pairs left for a first come first serve. Damn, that, did that's get, how. Did you get the Zoom rookies? No, the Galaxy ones. No. Yeah, no, you didn't. No. Did you try? Yeah, I had a, I had my old laptop, which was from two thousand four, ah. so that thing was like beat. Yeah. So I failed epically on Nike Store. <laughs> and they didn't have RSVP out here. That's why. Ah, oh, that's that's a pain in the ass. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone said Cork is special box only in Miami. Probably, yeah. Uh, they can have the box. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck about a box, dude. I'm over that box. <laughs> I don't care about any box, dude. I'm yeah. not wearing a box. Yeah. As long as it comes in some sort of box. The only yeah. way the only way I like a special box is if it's my second pair and I can trade it and people love the boxes, man. People go crazy for boxes. Yeah. I mean, I like – I don't, I don't – you know – a, a nice box is an extra is a nice touch, but that doesn't make or break it for me. To be you honest, the crown off. jewel, the crown jewel special box, man, it takes up. Have you guys ever seen it in person? It's freaking it's huge, massive, dude. It takes up <laughs> no, so but much I can space. imagine how big it is. It looks ridiculous. It's like literally four four by three feet. It's massive. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, like the regular LeBron boxes nowadays, especially those ones like the oh, gold medals came in. The the Nike Plus versions Ooh. are huge. Yeah. Yeah. They take up so much space. Like my windshield box is enormous. Yeah, yeah my windshield window. box, and I have a pair of pressures too, and that's like yeah. five pairs of shoes with those I two know. boxes. You know whose box I love? Kobe's box. Yeah. Plain and simple. <laughs> so like, it sounded a little funny at first. The only thing I'm, I'm kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I'm curious about the box. It's like curious. Box, and it's going to be yellow every time. You know what I mean? Oh, hold on. Nate's working something up over here. What is this? <laughs> what, what is Rob doing? He's coming up with a Rasta nut. <laughs> a Rasta nut shoe. <laughs> it's a limited edition. It comes in a cork box. Uh, this is the uh, pure, money pure, pure, money, pure Money Fours. What lace? From in for red to pink to volt 
to go. a royal blue to a black with blue. Hey, where's the galaxy laces? Throw those in there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> galaxy it is. Galaxy. galaxy it is. With, with the, then with label them. The, they're the promo, promo sample galaxy exclusive limited release. Yeah. Guess for your flight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Guys wanted it. <laughs> oh, That's ours. We're we're st we got sixty one viewers. People are still tuning in. Saturday night, man. No Saturday night, tomorrow. late night sneaker chat. Ah, oh, that's first first weekend since about very early September. No football. You know what feels yeah. good. I I'm technically undsing these shoes because I'm changing the laces. Wow. It feels good yeah, doing all this. <laughs> it feels good, man. Everyone, get ready. Wait for uh -oh. it. Uh oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait for it. Oh. Wait for it. <laughs> it's official now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Oh, it's only been <laughs> it's only been almost seven, it's been almost seven years exactly. This shoe came out uh, in '05 in January, '06 in January. Sorry, you got it. You buy, got it back when it first came out. No, I did not. No. Oh. Hey, I got uh, this uh, through Jacob. Oh, uh, I was pay. about to say, Dan, that's yeah, a long up? time to keep a shoe DS. Uh, I want to see my newest cop. Uh oh, here it comes. Not the fives, right? Oh snap! <laughs> I picked this one up at Target. <laughs> you know who does really cool uh, figures with shoes is uh, Heart and Souls on Instagram. I think I've seen that. Like, they're all wearing the shoes. Oh, right? I don't know. But, like, I follow him on YouTube. He hasn't posted in a while. But it's, like, Heart X, Souls X, or Heart yeah. X and X Souls. And, like, I, I was a huge fan of him. And he posts some really cool Instagram stuff. Yeah, there's another guy, uh, Nate Smash. He's got a bunch of shoes and uh I got my Dwight bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> what else I got over here? I got an OG Ghostbuster sitting over here. The thing is the Galaxy Ooh. lace is really, really short. <laughs> oh, oh, you're really putting them in, you're not messing around, huh? Why not? Something to do. Well, you can just lace them up like everybody does when they're trying to be cool, when they're all like untied and flopping around everywhere. <laughs> no, my lace job has to be proper. That 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 makes me so annoyed when you see people like when they're like down to like the fifth highest lace ho loop and they're all like super unlaced and they're like uh you know falling off their feet. That's why my, my laces are always laced right. impregnable. You will never see a twist in yeah. my lace. It's always over the hoop. I cannot. I gotta have it laced right. Yeah, I gotta got to. make sure mine are laced up too. I hate people Sometimes. who do it really loose and frilly. It's like, oh, yo, sick lace job. I'm well, like, no, see, I hate doing that because then I then I drag my feet and I drag my heels and that scuffs them up. Yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw, I like saw every comment. single one. Like this is about the loosest I have. I saw a comment once that made me laugh. Um, I, they left it on someone else's video, and and all the person wrote was, uh, "White boys be lacing their Jordans all tight." <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's I'd be like, I'd be like, hell yeah! I'd be like, I'm gonna scuff them up. <laughs> like, I actually care about my shoes. I don't want to just scuff them up for no reason. Getting proper ankle support. Exactly. <laughs> I could be rolling my stuff, you know. I take pride in not in not having them <laughs> nice and tight. <laughs> yeah. The uh, crown is too tight, so I'm gonna have to go under the crown because I do not want to have to cut don't these tips dare off. Don't you correct that. What do you guys think about people wearing their shoes factory laced? It's even too big to go in the uh, eyelet hole. That's not gonna work. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta loosen that up. Yeah, you, yeah. you can, you can do it. You just gotta loosen up the, you gotta loosen up the top couple yeah. and then you can slide your foot. I've seen Some, people do it. Sometimes I'll keep down here factory lace. I'll bring it all the way down to right here, just cause like it's such a nice lace job, you know. Yeah. Once, I, like, once I do it again, it's like all sloppy, you know. No, I mean I only need to do it factory like, lace. Like loosen up a couple times, but yeah. I'm not going like down to the to the toe box. Right. <laughs> unfortunately, you have them laced up halfway. Yeah. Unfortunately, the lace tips are too big to be inserted. Pause. Therefore, <laughs> it will not work. <laughs> oh, what, what a been? shame! We what were gonna have the have we were gonna have been? the Jordan Four Galaxies. <laughs> Could have been, you know. Yeah. So, back Sweet. to the back to taste the rainbow style. Taste the rainbow. 
the Skittle exclusive. <laughs> okay, question. Techno Pie Man, what do you guys think about the extraterrestrial? I think we actually, we hit on that in the first video a little bit, didn't we? Oh. Yeah, um, uh. that was what we talked about. Um, I don't know that. if you want to you want to jump in on that and give your, uh, your your feedback on them. I'm buying all of them, and then I'm gonna look at them just in case <laughs> there's one of them I, I like. Just in case, dude. No. Just in case. I'm not doing a LeBron Nine Galaxy all over no, again. Real, I have though. to pay three hundred dollars for that shoe. Yeah, with those gal galaxies last year, it's like I feel like everyone loved a different one, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I forgot about that one. I forgot about yeah. that one. You know, it's like cause I loved all of them. Like, and then I kind of towards the end really just loved. Yeah, the funny thing guys. is, I at first I loved. Well, I still do, and I still want the LeBron Nines were clearly my favorite, and that was really the only one that I was really going for. And then after everything released, I realized that yo, the KD fours were sick. I was like, man, I can't believe I missed out on those. And then the one pair that I wound up getting is the Kobe 7s. <laughs> it's the only pair that I have out of all three. I was like, wow. That's pretty funny. You know, I got to say, Philly, your, your Thunder 4, ah, that, oh, man, I can't even get it to fold. Your, 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 Dude, free, run, your free run Thunder 4 video is classic. They are way too flexible. They're more flexible than a, th than a free run, I swear. Matter of fact, I'm going to check on the. No, I can't do that. No way. Must be fake. That shoe. Okay, so CS Man one three one. I just did the Soul Land check. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. You're wondering what the RSVP oh is. Basically, um, Nike that is Cal. A flexible toe box. Whoa! <laughs> Told you guys. Hey, folks. <laughs> Those okay. must be Nike SBs. <laughs> No, you gotta. If you guys haven't watched my video on Soland, it's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, are those from Soland? Yeah. Oh man. When did you order them? Uh, but like about two or three weeks before they actually released. Ah. That, that is no. Mm -mm. I was like, I was like, yo, it was like two thirty or two twenty is a good price for these early, and you know, yeah. I was like, they'll probably resell. I was like, you know, I'll go ahead and pick them up a little early. What size like, are you again? What's that? What size are you? Uh, twelve. Can you squeeze in eleven and a half? Uh, probably in fours because they run a little bit big. But I already have a pair of. Uh, oh, okay. I got a pair. Of, I got a pair from East Bay the morning they came out. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, these things. I was like, well, at first I didn't think there was too much wrong with them because for some reason I decided not to check the uh, production dates as I should have. But like the, I, there was no hang tag, and I was like, well, I don't know. They might not be coming with one because, you know, it was kind of like a lifestyle release. So I didn't know. So I was like, all right, that's no no big deal. And then they actually have the stamp on the side of the tongue that spells out 2012. So I was like, oh, we, we should be fine. But then, like, the more and more I looked at them, and then I, like, put them on my feet, and then I, like, flexed them, and I was like, holy shit, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I was wow. like, what is wrong with this? I was like, whoa. <coughs> I was like, yeah, it's a little much. Wow. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. See, so, yeah, I did a video... And then I said I uh, something. I said like I was thinking about burning him, but I don't know. That's uh, that's too much too much energy wasted. Yeah. Dude, I'd be I'd so like mad that. if that happened to me. I'd I would make a tied 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 title my video. Thank you, DJ Dells. First yeah. off. Shout yeah. out to Soul Land. Shout out to Soul. Shout out to Soul Land. We'll be They're back. They're local. Really soon with blah some more blah fake blah. Shit. Yeah, that just made me so mad though, cause he's he's always plugging that site like crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If someone's plugging, if someone's plugging a site that hardcore, then you know they're they're getting free crap. But the fact that he's, but it's not just the fact that he's plugging it. The fact that he's plugging it and they sell fakes. Right. Yeah. That's really he knows. Bad. He, he knows they're fake. That's he, like Joe. Yeah, I would hope so. He plugged <laughs> I would up. hope. I would yeah, hope that he knows they're fake. Let's see. Another question. Let's see. The newest one, um, big JS, JASC, do you guys think Jordan Brand is testing the market on OG with the fives and the threes with the Nike Air like they want the money we pay for OG look? Um, I think I, I maybe testing, but I think they should already know what's going to happen. Of course they're going to sell out and do well. Someone's told me it's going to be Houston area only. Ah. For what? The, the, the threes? The, the Nike Air, yeah. That's what someone I told heard me. that. Ah. Online release only. That would be so stupid. 
I mean, I'm not really looking to pick. I might pick up the black cement threes if they actually come out, which is rumored. But the white ones, I don't really have any desire to pick up. That'd still be messed up if they only come in Houston. God, the, At least the whites the have unreal. like some type of historical significance with the dunk contest. Like, I'm against them just willy nilly going around putting Nike Air and everything. Yeah, it does make sense. You do make a good point. Yeah, that's true. Like, if they can at least, like, kind of BS a story, then, like, I guess it's okay. Like, I, I'm personally not in favor of the whole Nike Air on the back, like, to bring it back. Um, yeah. but, I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they should either, but think about it. They're going to eventually run out of ideas, ideas, retros. And, and Which is they, what I think, like, those jokers are good for. Like, well, personally, not, I don't think they – I don't like I, the colorway, but, like, I, at least they're doing something. If – because I, I I personally think the Jokers and the Crimson Reds, I, I could see those sitting on shelves. Yeah. I see and the Jokers. Maybe, maybe I for the Crimson. But, but what's happening is, you know, people are so dedicated to the OG colorways. They, they, you know, those diehard Jordan fans are, like, you know, almost appalled when, like, a, a Joker 3 comes out because they're like, it's not OG. Whereas I'm like, cool, like, te- you know, I think it's good for them to try to do new colorways and... and you know, so I, I I agree to an extent. I think it's cool to have like new colorways, like the Cavs and stuff. But like, yeah. to me, the Joker's like I'm I'm just not a fan of the colorway. But, like the yeah. the Crimsons, I think are pretty cool. How it has like some purple in there. Like I like yeah. purple. Well, look at it this way: if if nobody buys it, it's a good template for a custom. Yeah, at true. Retail price. Yeah, I know. Because because they you know when they when those um, what were they the Stealth threes came out. Yep. Those shat on shelves forever. I I still think there's a pair at my Foot Locker. They're like you know, Damn. Like down to like, still like Orion's at sixty my bucks, locker. right? So <laughs> you can find so, Orion's at like the Nike factories now on yeah. clearance. So if they do release like a, a shoe that people just aren't feeling, it will sit. You know, i.e. the um, the the stealths. So Maybe that's why hit the Nike outlet. That's why I'm a little like, I'm 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 interested to see what's going to happen with the Joker and the Crimsons. I don't think I don't think they'll sell out. Maybe you have too the, many releases. When that's did it come what I'm out? saying. It's crazy. Um, I'm not sure the exact release date. I think it's fairly soon though. Like Does February. The, the 88s come out not this upcoming weekend, but the next weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, if those Jokers and Crimsons both come out in February, they're probably going to sit because all the stuff oh. that's coming out. You got the 28s, you got this All-Star pack, you got the Corks. Yeah. yeah what else? Holy crap. There's... And the whole the whole uh, uh, Area 72 sportswear and Nike basketball yep. packs. You got the, the white camo foams. You got the white foams. You got the Corks. Oh, dude. I mean, it's just yeah, ridiculous. It's not... The white foams, like, legit? Like, they're actually coming oh, out? Oh, and the – oh, no, he got games in March, I think, so they're not – yeah, you gotta have a deep wallet for February, folks. Yeah, yeah. that's what I've been. That's one of the reasons that I passed on the fire reds, um, you know, because I mean I gotta start saving for <laughs> shoes yeah. in February. It's gonna be I, ridiculous. I have nothing right now. Who's uh? Anyone rock uh, any penny fives? Yeah, I, I wear penny fives a lot. I think how, I have. How are them. they? How are they? Like they're actually real, wearing them? They're really comfortable. I really yeah. like them. The Orlando ones I are like in my daily rotation. I wear those yeah. like once every couple days. That's a Just, nice shoe. Yeah. How's the bottom looking? It's pretty good. I mean, I clean it. I wipe it up. I mean, it's starting to get a little. Um, what do you call it? Not yellow, but like. You can. You can't see through all the way to the bottom of the shoe too much anymore. Yeah. But it's not dirty. It's just like I don't know. You you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But yeah, I mean they they're holding up pretty well. I mean that's you know they're really this comfortable. Is like... and, does it look like this, Home Elite LeBron? Not like, not like dirty looking, like dirty Concord, like like a smoke, um, like a yeah, smoke. Yeah, like yeah it's almost like, like tinted. See now. the it's difference? Like, it's like foggy, kind of. Yeah. Like they both probably have a similar wear. Trust me. Yeah. Although I you think still see how clear the the LeBron Home Elite is compared to the Concord. Concord's getting like a uh, shout Yo. out to Jumpman, a lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. Yeah. Oh, let me take a look at mine. Curious. What's the uh, topic we're on? Sorry, I'm paying attention. 
Someone asked if we were excited that the Georgetown questions are dropping in March. Yes, oh, I, I think those are so fresh. Yeah, those yes. are nice. I like them, but I hate Georgetown. <laughs> I'll probably buy them and nickname them something else. <laughs> there you go. I can't. The cool, I can't. The cool I, gray. I have to buy them. I have to buy them because the of my cool loyalty to Allen Iverson. Cool, cool gray blue chos. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the cool gray cross them up joints. Well, I mean, kind of, they're almost Villanova colors, so I might just call them Villanovas. Yeah. It's the rival of Georgetown, which would really be hilarious. In the video, I'm going to call them that. You know how many people are going to get pissed off and be like, that's not yeah. the right name, man. <laughs> You're so stupid. You don't know anything about sneakers. They could be yeah, the Dallas the... Cowboy Iverson. No, I hate the Cowboys even more than Georgetown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Eagles fan, so yeah, but here's the bottoms. The bottoms are they're okay. I mean, you can kind of see up by the toe where it's a little – Little yeah, like no, smoked pretty, out. They look pretty good though. Yeah, but, I mean, I probably, good. I've probably worn these about. I mean, I clean them again, but I mean, I've probably about, worn them about seven what about, or eight times. What about rain? Have they seen mean? moisture? Have they seen moisture? Oh uh, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't really affect yeah, them because ninety percent of the upper is is hyperfused. So no, I'm just talking about the outsole. Has the outsole hit? Oh hit yeah, water? the outsole. Yeah, but it doesn't really. Well, that's very impressive. I, any, uh, I think that's the fastest fact. thing that'll that'll change the color of the clear yeah, tinting. The, yeah. the ones that dropped today look, were, look pretty nice. The yeah, burst, I got the uh, I got the blue ones early from um, City or Windy City, so I think for retail. Nice. Wow. And I got the bright crimson ones off of Nike. I think this morning. Nice. I like the bright crimson. I saw them in person this morning. That's sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen them in person, but from what I've heard from people who have gotten them or whatever, say they look ridiculous in person. They're actually. definitely bright. Like um, <laughs> yeah, after that's the good, though. I like bright. I went into yeah. my shop. To look oh, sh shout out to Big J ASC and Swoosh Check 180 and I Greek. Y'all are great you know guys that, in the YouTube community. Guys. You know what color yeah, I, I was, like? Of, I know uh, Swoosh Check. The Penny Fives is the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. I really yeah, like that colorway. Oh, hey. Um, Matt, can can we see the um the LeBron Dolphins? LeBron oh, Dolphins yeah, yeah, yeah. got them. Let's see. Those are nice. Yeah, no, they look sick. My favorite part is the little logo on the heel. It's a sunset. Yep. That's my favorite part. But yeah, they look they look pretty sick. The only Have thing that kind of come out yet? No, these come out in March, I think. Like I'm March so like ninth. Out of tune with the LeBrons. Me too, yeah. man. I was all about the LeBrons, and now I have zero because I'm just like, like I in big sizes and like a 13, they look so clunky and cute that like I'm just not even interested. Like I don't know, I'm starting to like sleeker looking shoes. The Penny Fives are sleek. Yeah, those yeah, are Penny Fives are sleek. I just Nate. Yes, sir. I just picked up uh, the uh, 49ers Speed Turf. Speed Turf 2 49er colorway. Nice. Got him for a steal. Yeah, you can come up on loot. I've even seen the uh, the Homer Away Dion, the Diamond Turf 1s. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah, I like the red ones. And swoosh check, I still got those white ones for you, homie. What? You selling them? Yeah, I am. I, I just never wear them, man. I wore them one time and. I'm not a big trainer guy. I would rather wear a comfy runner or basketball yeah. shoe. Like I don't wear a lot of the trainers. Yeah. Did you get the red ones? I had the red ones. I moved them to uh, Swoosh Check, actually. Oh, you bastard! I kept those. Are still DS. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, all right. Penny five cloaks are hot. That even the penny. Okay, the penny five won't jive with my foot. But if I cop any, it's gonna, definitely going to be that one. I love the cloak, the Kobe cloak, the whole theme of the cloak. Cloak is nice. That's just nuts, man. I just recently just got rid of my Kobe cloaks. I couldn't. I just. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, uh, big. I keep wanting to call you Big Sack, but it's Big J A. <laughs> you guys look at the chat, man. The name is Big J A S C. When he came to Sunday Sneaker Chat, that's the same thing I kept wanting to say. So, but shout out to Yoanti and D to me, but. The rest of you guys, if you guys want to introduce yourself or tell By all means. people what your um, YouTube name is, it'll, it'll probably help them out. All right. No, oh, shout up. out to Mr. Crispy Coil. I saw his, uh, he just commented a couple minutes ago. Oh, Crispy. Yo, what's Where's up? Where's Yo, Frank? Crispy, that's Frisbee. the dude. Yeah, it's like, oh, this isn't, Fran does like a different one with um, like PB, the Nike SB OG. Um, yeah, and search. Sneaker does it too. Yeah, I'm one veracity. 
I like Chris and AJ. We gotta give Crispy a big nah mean. Nah mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you guys think about these? These are one of my favorite Galaxy shoes. The, those are in my yeah, favorite. Stiff as a freaking too. cardboard, man. <laughs> Yeah, these things. I thought these were sick, though, especially this colorway, like the bluish like gray. The yeah, I like the yeah. colors on the check. On this um, one. Yeah. yeah. Does the uh, does that little thing pull off too on the yeah. top of the Nike? Yeah. Oh. All the way around, like a big boomerang. I like the olive <laughs> colorway and the blue colorway. That yeah, those were uh, sleeper status. Well, not I really. Picked these up, I picked these up yeah, like they were sleeper. Almost. I picked these up like a month after they dropped for under retail DS. I mean, you can't beat that. Especially when all the other shoes that had Galaxy labeled on them that were going for like four times retail. Nick Formicella asked our interest in the Emmett Smith, the E22 Reebok, the Pro Bowl colorway in particular. That shoe itself, I'm a, I'm a small guy, like the uh, Air Pillar, for instance. I like the shoe, but still too bulky for me. But uh, Very bulky. I can respect the way the shoe looks. I like the blue model with the gum bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's good color. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to head out. I have uh, I have to do some tour guides at my school tomorrow, so I need to get right. some sleep for that. Wow, good chatting, sir. I, I appreciate. Thanks for coming, dude. It was good Peace. chatting with you. You so cool. Um, I don't know if you guys touched on this earlier, but Brandon Woyak. Thoughts on the Blackout XI? Mm. I mean, there's nothing confirmed, so we have no clue what the heck's going to come up. Yeah, I'm rumors. not sure. One of like eight or ten different 11 rumors. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't know. They're a little too plain for me. I mean, it's just basically the Space Jams with a smoked out bottom and no blue so, jump man. Tuxedo shoe. Tokyo exactly. Five. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the smoked bottom, though. Yeah, that does kind of – it'll stop yellowing, slow it down at least, so I like that. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just like they're trying to saturate the market too much. They're milking us. I kind of like it, to be honest, because it kind of like – Well, it'll kill It'll kill the hype a little bit on the 11s particularly. But I don't know. I don't know how, how – how I think the Concord thirst was way higher than the uh, playoff 11 <laughs> thirst. Yeah. I mean, I didn't saw a lot more stuff going down way after the release. A lot more media madness with the Concord release compared <laughs> to this madness. playoffs. It's tough yeah. to tell, though, because if there's more pairs of Bread 11s, then there's not going to be as much madness, right? Because people are going to be yes. satisfied. Right. I mean, is that where we point it to, that they were just out in the CDPs, even though the CDPs were kind of poopy? No, they were, they were really poopy. They were just kind so of poopy. I'm, being, I'm trying to be straight nice. Up, straight up poopy. <laughs> they peel instantly. The 23, doesn't it? Yeah. Has anybody had any problems with the new ones yet? I mean, it's pretty soon, but... Like, in terms of it starting to peel off or anything? <laughs> no. What, I, gave, I gave my or? opinion in my most recent video. Like, it, I like the Concord wear better than wearing the playoffs. Something with the ankle doesn't jive. It lacks a little bit of forefoot cushioning. But other than that, it is what it is. You gotta go with the 2000. There you go. It's nice and soft inside. Yes, super pillowy. Yeah. Therapeutic. Yeah. They're slowly, they're taking more and more cushion away every year. <laughs> well, I mean... Eventually Nike, we're just going to have, like, inner lining, and it's just going to be, like, plastic yeah. on our ankles. You guys Nike. follow Trusted Kicks on Instagram? I think so. Yeah. They posted a picture of the new uh, Nike Air Cement 3s, uh, the OG one next to the new one, and the cushioning difference is absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Like there's no they're like if you saw the cushioning in the old one, obviously it's really thick, and the new one's the exact same as the retros. And Joseph Leon, the Adidas Top Ten, especially the Christmas edition. Wow, those are nice looking shoes, man. Yeah, I had to pick those up. I got the D Roses. Right when I saw pictures of the D Roses, I was like, I'm definitely buying those whenever they come out. And I knew it'd be easy to pick up because you know it's not a Jordan or Nike, so people are like, eh, whatever. But then I got those in hand. And then I actually didn't know about the top 10 2000s until somebody asked me if I picked those up too. And I was like, no. And then I went over and looked at them and I was like, yeah, I'm ordering those too. Those are sick. Both of them are sick. I mean, it's just, it's like the whole concept, like the Nightmare Before Christmas thing is just sweet, man. It's really cool. And it's different too. It hasn't been anything like that before. 
Multi Monkey asked the question again. If we had to wear one shoe for the rest of our life, what would it be? Black cement threes. <laughs> mine, mine would be the uh, brown slipper. <laughs> again, I gotta go with the brown slipper. Is that OG or? Is that OG? <laughs> That's the retro. That's the 2009 <laughs> retro. Uh, does it? Hey, does it have Nike Air on the back? No. Is it Tempur Pedic? Is it? It is. <laughs> Are the soles icy? Oh, the soles icy. <laughs> it's, it's got a memory foam uh, <laughs> insole. Oh man. Trying to find a picture of those uh, Nike Air threes that you were talking about on Trust Kicks. Yeah, it's yes, on there, man. Yeah, some guy commented about the 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 Iman Shumpert uh, top ten two thousands. Those were pretty dope, but I couldn't buy them because I'm a Sixers fan. And I can't support a guy who plays for the Knicks. But they Ooh, were pretty... you know what's cool for uh... so back to the custom question you were talking about earlier. Oh yes, let's hear it. Um. I'm going to have to kind of show you a picture. This is a kind of a clean colorway right here. What shoe, what's the base shoe? The, the threes, of course. Oh, the threes. <laughs> you should know. You should. <laughs> Everything, three, three. Base jam threes. Hmm. They're kind of a clean color. I like that. Yeah, that's not bad. I can't tell. Does that have an icy sole or did they yeah, swap it? Yeah, it does. Or? Wow, that's crazy. And then the Jordan's written in blue. Huh, interesting. That's pretty cool. What's the retail on the Raygun All Stars? Does anyone know? Which ones? The uh, the 2013 Air Flights or whatever they are. The one with the strap, yeah. Those yeah, are that's the Air Flight 20. I think those are like probably 200. Wow. I mean, it's they're all expensive. The Barclays are 235. Wow. And oh. then the Blazers are like 180 or something ridiculous. Hell no. They're all really expensive, but What's those retail those, on uh, the LeBron? Did they bump that up 20? I don't know. I don't know if they bumped those up or not. I'm sure yeah. they did. If they did oh, for the yeah. Black History Month ones, I'm sure they did for those. Yeah. So it'll probably be the same thing. It'll probably be 200 for the bronze, uh, 135 <laughs> for the KDs, and what was it for the Kobe's? 150, 160. I don't know. One, 160. Yeah. Probably 20 bump, 20 price, uh, 20 dollars up for each one. Yeah. Stupid Which one. is ridiculous, but I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. At this point, if you can even get them for retail, yeah. even with the 20 dollar price hike, it's still a, a win. Cup Just noodles asked if any of us, if any of us would rock Jeremy Adidas. Nope. Jeremy Scotts. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Either. Uh, maybe if I was a celebrity, I'll wear a bunch of crazy shit. But or if I was like rich and I just had some money to just buy whatever I wanted, I would. I would just buy those for fun. Now, now shout out to Alex Jordan. Alex Jordan's my buddy from Arizona, and he's got the cutest little little two three year old little baby daughter and she wears the one with the tail with like the tiger looking things yeah oh, that's yeah. cool but and see, he for has kids, that's for awesome. kids. and, he, for and kids. wait a minute and he has a pair as well and he tags instagram a couple I times the when they rock it the and man part. that's freaking adorable so shout out to that so yeah that's pretty cool though i could see could i just pull it off like swag like i'm gonna go to the mall by myself being a bachelor no nah. could i wear it with my girlfriend no to be silly <laughs> maybe but can I do it with my 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 little my little daughter and my little son? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, that's the well, one. That's the one exception. <laughs> but shout out for being different. You got to look at uh, some yeah. people look at shoes as art. I mean, some in my collection, I look at art rather than yeah. wanting to rock. That's true. So, so if someone looks at that like, man, this guy's going outside the box on some sneakers. Mm -hmm. Respect, you know, I want to get it so respectable. I mean, I think so. I think some of the designs are really cool. You know? Definitely. It, it, it all depends who's wearing it. Yeah. Like yeah. I've seen, you know, like some of the commercials, I'm like, oh, it's pretty cool. Like, you know, it may not be for for us, but there's definitely some really cool designs, you know. Yeah, there's people who like them, and you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. If you like them, I don't think differently about you. Yeah, it's just whatever, you know. If you like them, that's awesome. That's good for you. I like certain shoes that people don't like. Like I'm crazy about Reebok questions. A lot of people don't like that shoe, but you know, that's just me. Now, if I saw someone wearing them to the mall. Like, I think my reaction would be like, yeah. whoa. It, now, wait a minute. It wouldn't be like a, whoa, I'm going to judge that person. It would be that's like, a, whoa, that's like, oh, that's damn. Funky. Like, exactly. I, it would break my neck. I don't know if it would be in like a... Not in a good way. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to... Yeah, I'm not trying in to... In an interesting way. You know what I mean? Yeah, in yeah, an interesting, interesting way. way. There you go. <laughs> You're like, oh, what are those? Not like a, yo, what are those? It'd be like, oh, uh, what are those? And Arkells, he asks, if anyone saw the Rondo... 
PE hyper pods. Yes. Oh, those yeah, are those sick. Are really crazy. Oh my goodness. I hate Ray, Ray John Rondo with every inch of my heart. I'm, I'm sorry, yo, Anthony, but I would <laughs> buy that those. That guy never smiles. Yeah, at first I thought he was wearing Paranormans because I couldn't get a close-up view because all I saw were those flashes of green. It was like a green chrome, man. That was yeah, sick. Yeah, they were sick. Even the air he's unit looked like it had He's been shot. rocking like a different he's, pair. Every, he's been wearing like whatever he just everything. like throws he on random shoes. He opened up the season with pink foams and he's wearing yeah, stone foams. He was yeah, wearing. Cool I think he's wearing point. KD fives uh, the other night too. Yeah. If you're if you're a fan of hyperposites, so pay close attention to the Trailblazers and Lamarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has been killing the PE hyperposite game. A Killing lot of people it. have had some sick PE hyperposits. Yes. The yes. price point on those for retail is just such a ridiculous price. It's Still like I mean, some of them have been decent looking colorways, but I just can't fork out the what is it, two twenty five? It like is, that. but it is, but the only one you have to worry about would be the Statue of Liberty. Every other colorway yeah. except the Amari will hit yeah, go way soon. below retail. Yes. Way, I've, been, I've been trying to find the Statue of Liberties for a decent price since they came out. Once I they saw keep pictures getting higher, and higher, man. So I don't bad. understand they're, it. They're sitting in my area for retail, man. People are selling them for retail. Are you in serious? My, in my area, at least. There's like yeah. there's at least three or four pairs in my in the group I'm in at retail. Damn. On the Statue of Liberty? Well, if you can find a size 12 for retail, <laughs> definitely definitely hit me up. Because, I mean, I've been on the hunt for those for a while. They, yeah, they do keep going up. Every time I check, first they were at like... 275 and I was like yeah it's a little too high I'll wait till they come down to like 250 and then they start going up above 300 and I was like what the heck <laughs> it's ridiculous if I see but one I'll, they're I'll sick let you know. all yeah. the ones I, all the ones I've been seeing are 10 and a half and uh, I love it yeah 12 is hard to get especially in a shoe like that that was like kind of limited but see I'm in an area where I don't have like I have one house of hoops is like an hour and a half away and oh, even man, then man. they don't get they don't get much like crazy stuff even then so and my local mall all they have is a finish line and a champs and the champs gets nothing like they don't even usually get new retros the finish line gets retros and they usually get by, by like 10 pairs like i called about the fire red fives just for shits and giggles i was like how many pairs of fire red fives are you guys getting and she was like oh i think a dozen i was like Man, guys, the only store in the mall who's getting them i was like and this is a gr i was like whatever i'm not even gonna waste my time i'll start saving for february <laughs> where do you live it. I live about 20 minutes north of Atlanta, Dang. and there's nothing down here, dude. It's we have like a couple boutiques down in the city, but I mean, like they're like Flight Club, like they're super overpriced. Like they have a decent selection, but and plus the um, you know, it's with traffic and everything, it could take up to an hour or more to get down there. So yeah, I'm not not worth my time. I'm not not worth. You spend more in gas money. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So I usually Man. have to either try to get lucky online, or I'm there. That's it. And they, keep... Yes, sir. You want to um, answer about three more questions and then uh, wrap it up? Sure. Let's hit Justin Rowe. Where do you get your restock info? Um, I can give Somebody my. Somebody asked me that too. I can give my tips, and then if you guys want to add on to it, uh, oh, restock right. info. I would really make sure you get on Twitter. Yeah. Or, yeah, that's a big um, one. Or make sure you bookmark such sites like Kicks Deals or. Um, Court cloth. Definitely follow um, uh, Nice Kick. Sometimes talks about it. The Soul Collector message forums. But the easy places to follow would be like Nike.com, Finish Line, Foot Locker, um, stuff like that. Also, your local SB shop. Whoever your Nike local SB shop is, if you're into those, definitely follow those. Follow New Balance if you're into New Balance. Twitter is the best way, I think. Seriously, man. And then the next best way is probably your friend. Yeah, True. they'll probably tell you too. Yeah, that's how I found out. It's either through Twitter or through other people on YouTube or just friends. They'll just hit me up and say, hey, you know about the restock? I'm like, no, but now I do. <laughs> and then, then I usually let as many people know as I can. I mean. Man, I'm looking at these Crimson 3s. I think I want to get them. 3M, yeah. man. 3M. Oh, there's 3M on there? Oh, on the entire shoe. On the, the Crimson 3? The entire yeah. upper is 3M? Yeah. Look in, dude, just look at Trusted Kicks, man. They always post pictures of the of the 3s. Recently, at least. The, the upper is that's, 3M. The, uh, that's why I'm actually kind of getting more sold on them is that all their, their damn pictures that they're posting. That's, what's, that's what kind of sold me is, uh, the, the, on the Crimson is uh, a lot of 3M on the shoe. I'm trying to find a 3M. Jeez. 
Um, another guy asks. Um, he just did his. It's Riley Eyes Company ninety three. He just did his first camp out for the BHMs today. He's asking us if we've ever camped out, and if so, best and worst experiences. Yeah. My best experience is just meeting good people. Yeah. Um, yeah. My worst experience is people getting rowdy and cops coming for the All Star release and no one getting the shoes. People cutting that the was line. By far the worst. Yeah. And fortunately, I haven't been. Fortunately, I haven't been caught up in any like terrible situations when I'm camping out. Uh, no good situation. Just like Nate said, I mean, you meet a lot of cool people. And the majority of the people, people have a misconception about how every time you go to a camp out, it's terrible and people want to like stab each other in the face. Like most of the time, it's fun and you meet people that are really cool and talk sneakers and all that stuff. But uh, my worst uh, experience really wasn't a terrible experience. I was just uh, driving around going to pick up my friend to go camp out for the Cav 4s and his phone ran out of batteries like in the middle of the night. So I was like texting him and like where, asking him where he was and he wasn't replying. So I was like driving around for like three hours around his neighborhood waiting for him to reply. And then it turns out that his AT&T service like got cut off and he like fell asleep. And so uh, I wound up drive wasting like four and a half hours. And then I didn't even bother going to the camp out because, you know, he wasn't replying. So I never got the shoes and I had to pay resale price. That's funny. Wow. My uh, my worst ridiculous. my worst camp out story was at Cap Fours too. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to camp or not. I was like, all right, whatever, I will. I think I was gonna get there about three. You know, they opened at eight. So of course, on my way, I get pulled over. I haven't been pulled over in I don't know a few years, and I get pulled over for I, my one of my headlights is out, which I didn't know about. So it was like, well, where are you going at this hour? I'm like, uh. This may not make any sense, but I'm going to camp out, going to the mall to camp out for a pair of shoes. He looked at me like I had two heads. He's like, probably thought I was lying. You know? So it's like, so then I get there. I sit down, and, and there's just like these four or five high school kids that are just like, they're just so annoying from the start. Like they're like, they're dipping, so they're spitting everywhere. They're just saying like stupid crap, and I'm like sitting there going, I can't do this. I can't do this. So. And I was like, I was like, do I really? Am I really gonna waste five hours of my life right now? I'm, I'm so annoyed. These kids are just pissing me off. So I go, nope, it's not worth it. I get back in my car. I drive home. I set my alarm for 7:50 a.m. because I have to work in the morning too. I was gonna go straight um, from from uh, the mall to work. So I was like, I need sleep. Uh, sure enough, I get on finish line at 7:55. They release at eight. I get my pair, and that's that. So I, I ended up, I ended up blocking out, but the camping part uh, was not fun. Yeah, I did that for the Raptor Sevens. I went right from the camp out. I uh, went home, changed, and dropped my shoes off, and got went to work, right to work. I didn't get any sleep. Yeah, <laughs> that was really? crazy. Yeah, Nate, you got one last question. Oh man, um, make it a good one. I know it. Man, you guys are lucky you don't live in L.A. <laughs> or New York for camping. Yeah, Henry, I remember you told a story once about, like, you set a chair down, and, like, some, some bunch of people just cut you, and you're like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I would have been so pissed, dude. Yeah. Dude, camping was never, I mean, you. the only good part about camping for me was meeting people. Camping was yeah. never fun because the amount of time you had to camp in L.A. was just absurd. And whenever, whenever, there's, whenever there's kids, they never shut their mouth. They're always talking about how much they're going to sell for. You just, I mean. Yeah. But you meet good people camping. That's the good part. True. I'm waiting for a new question to come in. I stopped um, camping. Jeez. How many viewers are we down to, Yoanti? Uh, we're at 53. Wow, that's wow. pretty good for 2 in the morning. 2 a.m., yeah. <laughs> Solid. Looks like 11 over where Henry is. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I gotta get up for work in like six and a half. Eleven o'clock here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I stopped camping after the Christmas uh, Grinch. I think the next camping, uh, the next thing I'm gonna camp for is probably the uh, Nike SB Concord, if they allow it. They don't allow camping for anything anymore. Yeah, that's true. The camping is really, you know, dying down just because they they don't they won't allow it in most places, huh? What happened to the video? I Greg wants to know what the best All Star kick is. 
this year. Yeah. yeah. Out of the three? Probably out of. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, I, it's, I it's, kind of it's, like the LeBron. It's tough for me to tell. I, I, I'm going to need to see like them either in person or some, some nice uh, video reviews just because it's, it's tough to get a good look. I uh, can't tell without seeing pictures. it. And some of those pictures, too, are so like stu such studio photos that I can't get a good look of, of, of the kick, you know? Because freaking the Kobe's look like a bunch of meat. Looks like pizza. <laughs> Or pizza, you know, Kobe pizza, pizza or eight. meat. <laughs> pizza 8. Or orange, then, orange uh, sherbet. The rants, they look like just green and yellow. Yeah. The rants look like cream of wheat. Very true. I would say if I had to pick one, if I was getting Indian burns by Nike, it would be the Kobe. Dude, the Nike I, sports win is better. Yeah, yeah oh yeah, those, the Nike games. sports were much better, I agree. Oh, yeah, sportswear, hands down. I would have to go with the ray guns. Yeah, I'd probably choose the ray gun. Cause, uh, uh, and the close second would be the Barclays. Yep. And then I'm done. Which one would be uh, the ray guns? Oh, the lunar ones? Or the lunar Air Force? Um, what about the Air Force? It's like the Air Force Max. Which one's the Ray? Has the strap? Has the the one I like has the strap on the front. Yeah, that's the, the blue Ray strap. Gun. Oh, that one. Should be a Gold black strap. Bottom. Oh, the belts. The high tops. Hmm. I honestly, don't know. <laughs> uh, he asked if retro card comes with the threes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but retro cards only came in face fade and black Jordan boxes. They've stopped since they went to the black and silver and so on. They didn't even yeah, come in the OGs. The anniversary boxes, right? They got them. Did they? Okay. I, I think they did, and then the the face definitely got them. Definitely the face fades. I think it stopped after the face fades, so I don't think it came with the silver box. Camping in LA is bad because they start the fucking line ten days ahead of time, and they oh, don't even—they don't even, they oh don't even camp. And ghost they just, chairs. They and make their rounds. They make their rounds, and it's just—you got—you got immigrant families living on the street. They're not even working with their kids out there. I swear to God, the the reason I didn't get my size for the what the Kobe is because there is an immigrant family of like six. Just out there for seven days. Sorry about that. I was taking a piss. <laughs> Good, to know. Good update. Good update. <laughs> well, I don't know. You guys might have thought it just disappeared and ghosted out of here. <laughs> um, what are we talking about? I, I actually think we're about to wrap it up. Oh, okay. You guys are all right with that. I think we... we yeah, because I, mean, I got to oh, yeah, get yeah. up in a few hours. We, we put in a, a, a solid <laughs> chat today. Oh, where'd you go? Um, yeah, we put in like seven hours. <laughs> you made your room. You said, Idris! I didn't hear it. So, um, yeah, you want to thank you guys fun. all for, for taking it's the time out. Papers. Enjoy. <laughs> and definitely thank the audience for the awesome questions. Yes, thank you guys. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're still 48 viewers as we sign off. We reached uh, 101 was our highest, so uh, definitely thank an exciting... Live chat, and uh, we'll we'll let you guys know uh, when it will be next. Hopefully, uh, around the same time next week. But we'll definitely uh, update you guys and, and let you know. So, uh, one last sign off, Optimus P. Thanks for joining us. That's your boyfriend. Have, have a nice night, Mr. King of Kicks, Henry. <laughs> thanks for joining us. All things Philly ninety three. Thank you. And Mr. Indeed, 317. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it was guys. definitely fun. See you later, guys. We'll keep in touch. See you later, guys. Take care. Later.